Hello guys, in this video tutorial I will show you how to create the radial impeller uh, in FreeCAD. We will be using the macros for this um, based on Python programming language. Um, and let's open the GitHub. I will show you where you can download these macros. Okay, so um, you have to paste this name in the search and you can find my github profile and here in this repository you can see this macros this three macros this is three different steps for generation the three the model of radial impeller okay uh, so let's download it like zip archive and let's go to desktop and how can you see we have this zip file and let's open this files here and uh, we have to add this macros to FreeCAD let's open the FreeCAD and in this menu let's choose the macros and let's find the directory and the desktop radial turbo macros FreeCAD main and choose this folder and how can you see we have added these three different macros to the file so let's close this and let's go to part workbench here this macros will be working in part workbench and after that let's choose this unnamed um, document and go to the macros again and let's uh, go to execute these three steps let's execute the first step and how can you see um, emergent section with shroud and hub surfaces was generated and this marginal section is um, parametrical you can to change the different um, sizes for example the radial dimension and here let's 1100 millimeters uh, for example the lens uh, this width of this let's make some smaller 100 for example you can see it really smaller you can to two or for example and yes it's um, default size in here and also you can to translate this leading edge in, the, in change the position for example it, we can see you can see the shroud position it's percent if you can change it will be here and if you nine it will be here it will be curve of the blade so let's set it in default value okay after that mm, we can to uh, this introduction tutorial uh, i don't um, waste of time to um, show you all, all these parameters Okay, so the second step will be creation of the surface of blade. You can go to macros again and make the second step. Choose this and make the execution. And after some time you have got the some shape of blade. Of course this uh, shape uh, you can change. This some default uh, centrifugal pump impeller 
we can change you can calculate these um, parameters using the different software in one d one dimension uh, calculation for example and so let's um, go to this model of blade the surface and these parameters of surface um, if you know some something about turbo machinery you have to know about the angles of um, the this uh, blade it's in input angle output angle uh, and the shape of um, blade here also you can see and we can change these angles for example if you will change uh, for hub it will be this line on hub on shroud line in the angels so let's go to the shroud for example and change this angle 30 and how can you see we have changed the shape and increase this uh, value of angle let's go to the something like default settings maybe some bigger because we have to control the shape the position of this trailing edge okay and of course you can change the form of the blade for half shroud and average line right here also um, okay after that when we have to stop uh, the shape of this form of blade uh, we can to create the 3d model of the blade with thickness um, okay let's choose this model of surface and go to the macros again and let's um, make the third step make the execution okay and you will get the free uh, the blade okay and let's make the some correction here for example let's set the 15 if you will change the step here you can see the shape is changed but the 3d model not changed for changing of this uh, so let's um, uh, make the some comment this comment uh, recompute object if you can make the recompute you will get the changing of um, this step 3 Okay, and also it will be working if you will, for example, to change this parameter. For example, to uh, you can let's go to the shroud. I think it make the 25 again. Here, here you can see the form of drilling edge, and if you will go here and change the some dimension again, and just paste enter and the, this automatically recomputes the shape of the form okay so let's change this to default some value and make the recompute object again okay and let's uh, hide this it will be the space button on keyboard Okay, and you can see the only blades here. Of course, you can change the form of leading edge, for example. If you go to the blades, for example, you can change the thickness and type of the thickness. For example, type of the thickness, uh, type of leading edge will be um, circle or ellipse with coefficient 2, for example. Okay. Let's go to and how can you see we have changed the ellipse with coefficient of two. Okay, and after that let's to compute it to default uh, circle type. Okay, and I want to show you that you can change the number of blades of course in automatically. Let's it was uh, seven blades we can set for example five blades will be some smaller value and 
after that for example you can uh, create the periodic domain for CFD simulation it's very important step because you can to uh, create this uh, domain and uh, go to the open form simulation for example for to check the performance characteristics uh, of pump or compressor or another turbo machinery um, model of impeller for example of course you can to create the blades if you can choose the false for periodic domain and you can to create the full domain CFD it working automatically if you will be working with uh, for example um, with turbo machinery and uh, try to create it uh, manually it will be very very long time require of course so if you can change uh, this full domain periodic you can also to save it for CFD simulation also it's very very uh, powerful thing okay that yes um, and of course you can to save it in uh, any type of format, for example, export. You can choose this blades, for example, and export these blades in STL for 3D printing, or for example, the step format or another. Okay, and this uh, it was introduction to this software. And in the next video tutorials, uh, I think I will um, tell you tell you about how to uh, calculate the thumb um, real. Uh, centrifugal impeller for example based on example centrifugal pump water pump we will uh, calculate the real uh, flow rate uh, and head uh, with rotation speed of the impeller and try to make uh, the parametrical model change the parameters and create the real impeller okay thank you for watching subscribe to the channel uh, goodbye